Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to move or archive files in the storage account or in the data lakes as part of Azure Data Factory series. Without further delay, let's begin. What we are going to do today. So we have uh, three files in the data lake that we consider as landing area. And once um, we want to move it, archive it, we will do certain actions, right? Any actions that can be, I will leave it with you, whatever you do. And then once the task is done, we need to move it into process folder. Once it is moved, then we will delete it from the target area. That is what uh, we used to do. So in order to do that, this is the typical uh, archival process that usually we perform. I'm not going to build uh, right from the single pipelines uh, dragging and dropping activities. Instead, I'm going to do a different approach today using the template approach. What it is, let's try to check it out. This channel contains a free content that covers Power BI, MSBI and fundamentals of uh, SQL as well as Azure. Please feel free to share this channel with friends and colleagues utilize this free content going back to the main video like uh, as I said before I'm not going to build a pipelines here I'm going to use the templates so for that click on the home button and there is a pipeline template and you can see there is a bunch of templates this is giving you a clue uh, if you have a scenario in order to do that try to come and check it in the template is that already uh, available as a template so that you can use it so in this case I want move files this is the template then click on ok and continue then you can see what this does it does the actual thing it gets the list of files and filter the files because the blob storage can contain any other files as well like images or any other format you don't want to uh, move then you can filter those in this step then finally for each files from this list you will um, move it to a process folder that is what this is going to do then uh, the link services you need to choose for the source as well as the target in my case both are same this is the Azure data lake storage is my source and my target also same. So let me show you those files. So I am in the source files here. Um, let me click on this source files and I have three files here. Let me go to processed folder. You can see processed blobs containers processed and I have I don't have those files in the source that is customer product sales data customer product sales data is not available what we are going to do we are going to move this file from here to in this place for that we are using the template this storage uh, is the connection to the blob storage not for the folders for the folders what we have to process we are going to give it as an input let's see that once you click on it that's it you see here uh, these are the new files whatever in the dot which is created by this template you can see these data sets are created and also this particular pipeline whatever you seen in the preview that is created automatically <coughs> this is a quick way to do certain things so once it is done what is the parameter required you have a source location and a directory so destination lo store location and a directory this is nothing but the location name is nothing but your source files this is the uh, name of the blob container so you can provide this here default value and then uh, this is the file source is the directory just provide the blank name this can be uh, customized as per your need for simplicity I am providing all these things the processed is the destination folder that is location as your directory and I don't have any other further directory here usually we can have a directory I don't have any directory that's it these are the default values now uh, let us try to run this uh, pipeline and check how it 
uh, works whether it copies or not then we will come back and go through each and every step over here so let me debug these are the uh, uh, inputs right process source files and file sources all this default I'm okay with the default and click on ok so it is getting the list of files now there you go and then uh, it has filtered as well the filters file if if at all any unwanted file is there it will be filtered then for each of the uh, files right the copy file is triggered then a delete file is triggered there is three files so let's go and check it in our source i didn't refresh yet so let me refresh in source the files are gone and in my target i need to refresh there you go i got this three files right now so we are done with this uh, activity like whatever we want to achieve so i want uh, to take a few moments or few minutes to explain this uh, pipeline as well so now first things first let's go to the first activity get file list what it will do you can check here the settings it takes the parameter that is container and directory and it uses this data set which is being created here and then it also loops through your uh, subfolders as well that is child items okay then going to the next activity you see here it uses the filters activity dot get one output dot child items so it gets the all the file names over here get list files child child items then the condition to filter right this is the filter activity it gets the items what are the items from this list to the previous step then finally it will do the filtration equals item dot type equal to file if it is except the file any other images are coming then it will be filtered here this will get all the um, list of items but this will filter it out okay then finally for each loop so how many records we get it from this particular step previous step for each item that output dot uh, that filter files is the activity name and the output dot value will be passed here then inside this there are two activities in the file for each as usual we have a copy of file it takes the source data set and uh, you see the source location and the directory as the input and the name of the file name of the file it will be iterated that is why you have a item dot name then finally you have a sync sync is obviously we have a destination store and destination um, um, directory as well as destination location location is nothing but container and directory is nothing but a folder then file name so the same file name we used to create then finally we have delete what it does it takes this input and performs the delete operation based on the source files only we are passing it here so this is pretty straightforward uh, template like we will follow for archival so you make use of this templates concept in your projects so that um, you no need to brainstorm uh, very big thing you are always free to customize all these parameters based on your needs i hope you like this video using this template approach that will save a lot of your time if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries share this channel with your friends and colleagues if you are new to this channel do remember that data is your asset.